bearer of the curse. Nothing makes any sense. You can now open the king's sealed door. Okay. The the one in Drangleic Castle, right? Not the one in the forest? Am I losing it? It's the one in the forest? What? All of them. You can open them both. Oh, okay. All right. It does both. The one in the castle is the final boss. I told you I was almost done. No, you can't. You're just wrong. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. Fair enough, then. Yo, I wish it opened the Kingsgate Mall. That's a little Vancouver joke for you. It's a crappy shopping mall. Um, we want to go to the forest, which is here, the Shaded Woods, the Ruined Fork Road. We do need some life gems. Aren't all malls crappy? Yo, but this is like... The Kingsgate Mall is that classic, like, cursed mall in every town. Like, Pacific Center is like, you know, there's a... There's a Nordstrom. There's a Holt Renfrew. There's a decent food court. There's a, you know, a Harry Rosen. There's a Gucci store, you know? And then... International Village Mall is a little bit scuffed. It's like pretty dicey. But it also is like, it has a movie theater. That's a, so, Cream Hole in chat is referencing the International Village Mall. Which is pretty spicy. But it has a movie theater, which is a very high value thing for a, for a mall to have. We find ourselves there on occasion. Really thought you were going to die there. Um, the Kingsgate Mall is... I the the flagship client of the Kingsgate Mall is uh Shoppers Drug Mart. That anytime you look at the sign of a mall and their number one thing is a pharmacy, you have no reason to be there. Not this way. Wait, is it this way? What do you <laughs> What do you mean, spicy? Uh, like, the I have seen multiple fights in the International Village Mall. Uh, people, and this is not like on occasion, this is every time. People slumped down on benches, like... Not open use of needle drugs, but like... Close to open use of needle drugs. You know what? Yeah, like, so I used to... I Not not many times, but like once or twice, I played Magic at the board game store in there. Which is actually, like, a really, really good local game store. Uh, with a really good clientele. But when you have to... Excuse me. Oh, it's opening. When you have to go to the bathroom, they're like, you go to the the mall bathroom. The mall bathroom is, like, extremely scary. <laughs> Even as a, uh, as, like, a 30-year-old able-bodied man, I'm like, I don't really want to be in this bathroom. Like, I'm scared for my own personal safety. But then the, the Kingsgate Mall. Oh, there's a bonfire in the shack. Thank you. I don't know if I would say the uh, the Kingsgate Mall is worse. It's like also sketchy, 
in a similar way, but it doesn't have a movie theater, which makes it a lot worse. Sketchy Vancouver, pick one. I mean, that's just, like, wrong. There's some very sketchy parts of Vancouver, dude. There's also, like, incredibly, like, affluent parts. But, I mean, the, <laughs> the downtown east side is sketchy. For sure. Aslatiel of Mirah. Okay, you are susceptible to LB. Was Kingston ever sketchy? There were sketchy parts of it when I lived there that I uh, never went to because I was like a teenager. Uh, my parents have told me that it's gotten sketchier, but I don't know if that's true or if it's just because they're getting older. So like, you know, their 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 tolerance for that kind of stuff is is even lower. I'm not sure though. I, I would need to speak to somebody who still lives in in Kingston. I remember. I remember you. This is where gamers were betrayed by From Software. Don't you dare. Is this dark? Now the question, are you ready for more? If you are, then we ought to talk. This Okay. Okay. The fool dreamt of bringing All right. instead. He created me. What he sought was strength. And so I decided to demonstrate. While my vessel slept. Just catch me if you can. But my vessel did not improve. And so while I slept, he sealed the both of us away. No, I don't have anything against humans. But I don't know you. <sighs> God, so what say you to a spot of murder? This is like when somebody that you barely know dumps like an essay of personal drama on you and then asks you how you feel about it. What are you gonna say? Oh, I agree with the other person. You're gonna be. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. Whoa, really? And then now, this is the classic moment where I wasn't even listening, and they're like, isn't that right? And I'm like, uh. Uh, no? Yes, yes, of course. Forget that I asked. That's what. Good. Oh, no, here we go. Your feeble mind could not comprehend me. No, I don't have any. I have nothing. So what say you if you don't? A spot of murder on my behalf? <laughs> he says, I don't I don't give a fig either way. It's like a like a little kid trying to be a badass, but he's also afraid of swearing. I don't give a frack. That's the problem. I see a mother fracking cop. I don't stop none. You guys ever listen to Straight Outta Compton? I still, uh... Every now and then, I, I laugh when I think about the way Easy E starts his verse on that. It's so it's so good. Straight out of Compton is a brother that would smother your mother and make your sister think I love her. So you're gonna kill my mom, but you're just gonna kind of like 
betray my sister's trust. He's, he's actually, he's got a lot of, uh, of surprising, um, kind of like mundane rhymes on that. Dangerous. Mother effer raised in hell. And if I ever get caught, I'll make bail. That's, a, that's the way the system works. No. E was the worst from NWA, change my view. Well, like, MC Ren is the worst rapper in NWA. Ice Cube is the best by far. He's got the best flow. He wrote like 90% of the songs. Ice Cube is by far the best. I actually think you probably put Easy E second. Then I think, I don't know, you put Dr. Dre third. But I always look at Dr. Dre as kind of like, he did rap a little bit, but he's also sort of just like the face of the business. Dre might be second. I mean, he's got, he, he can spit, don't get me wrong. But MC Ren is like, well, here's a, <laughs> isn't it like Ice Cube, multi-talented Hollywood actor and still making music now and then. Um, Easy e you know, cut down in his prime, but was a lifelong musician. Dr. Dre, still making music to this day, just released an album like three years ago. MC Ren, isn't he like a pastor now? I'm just saying. What about DJ Yella? I'll admit I don't really know anything about DJ Yella. Except in NWA songs where they go, they say something about DJ Yella. And even like in some of the songs, he's always like, they, they kind of add him. They say all their names and then they go, and Yella. It's like the, he's exclusively... He's always left out until the very end, and they're like, oh shit, did we forget anybody? The the only one I can remember now, what what a cursed shader, is uh in No Vaseline when Doc uh, not Dr. Dre, when Ice Cube rips him. Yellow boys on your team, so you're losing! And then just the most Unbelievable burn of all time. Yo, Dre, stick to producing. He got you, dude. Whatever, dude. I'll take off my armor. Take me. There's a like a lot of diss tracks from that era. Are. Uh, Surprisingly mundane. I always, uh, I always say this, so I apologize if you've heard this before, but I love it. Um, when on No Vaseline, Ice Cube goes, I'll never have dinner with the president. I'll never have dinner with the president. I'll never have dinner with the president. And if I see your ass again, and you're like, oh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna get him. He's gonna burn him. He goes, if I see your ass again, I'll be hesitant. <laughs> he says a lot of other things in that song that I won't repeat, but that one is like surprisingly middle school tier. Like if you <laughs> if you only know Ice Cube from uh, Are We There Yet, you should really listen to No Vaseline. It'll throw you for a loop. He 
does go. I remember when you drove a B210. Used to be my homie, now you act like you don't know me. You gotta be real careful when you start, uh... When you start thinking of no Vaseline lyrics. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Alright, now we got it. Aromatic ooze. You're get. That's my bad. You're getting um, Ice Cube and Ice T mixed up. Ice T is the one who goes. I read on Kotaku. It's got more content than the Brave New World. Wait, let me rephrase. I read on Kotaku. It's got more content than Civ Five with the Brave New World expansion. We just need the items, right? I mean, we don't even need the items, unless they're fists or fist related. Soul Geyser? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's a spike wall. EA just announced a first-person shooter that's rocket launchers only. Oh, baby. My time. But now, I don't I don't want rocket launchers anymore. I want one that's uh, hit-scan sniper rifles only. That's, that's the new me. Yeah, new me understands that you got you got to miss some shots on occasion. There you go. It's bound to happen. I play aim beast twice a day before I shower. Exactly. Exactly. There's a lot of stuff going on in here, huh? I love this room where you just walk in and punch the dude in the back over and over until he dies. That's pretty cool. This is just disgusting. You know, now that you mention it, I do remember this part. <laughs> Now that you mention it, I do remember this. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing Dark Souls 2, but this does bring a smile to my face. I haven't listened to hip-hop in a while, though. I'm, I'm full on the steely train. I'm telling you, the Summer of Steely has only been in its, like... I mean, summer starts this weekend, right? That's when it's gonna really begin. For now, I've been trying to keep it on the back burner so it doesn't lose too much of its sizzle. Can't really see. I'm going all in on the on the jazz part of Steely Dan too. Don't get me wrong, the singles are slappers, but I'm all about the the long jam sessions now. Okay, I don't even know if we have to kill you, but let's do it. I don't get the Steely Dan meme. It's not a meme, they're just a band that's underappreciated by 
my generational cohorts. Yo, you're just you're messing this whole thing up. Let's go, that's huge. In my opinion, they're overappreciated. Absolutely not. I disagree. You don't hear very much about Steely Dan outside of, like, us. <laughs> and then that really popular meme that went, Are you winning, son? And then it just says, Dad, I'm listening to Steely Dan. I don't know what I expected. When are we gonna get dad rap? I don't know who needs to hear this, but Eminem is dad rap. Sinvicta, if you're here, I apologize. Because you're in this tweet and you don't like it, but... Whenever I hear somebody say, like, yo, the new Eminem is pretty good, though, I'm like, I get it. You're getting older. <laughs> Whoa, what was that move? Goodbye. What's Dad Rock? Oh, I mean, Dad Rock is real. Dad Rock is like classic rock from the from the seventies. Probably the seventies to the nineties now, I would say, is dad rock. That's not to say like I mean there's a lot of dads who were listening to music in the two thousands, but I wouldn't say it's dad rock. I always thought this boss arena was cool. They are fathers, but not dads. Exactly. So, I remember that you shoot fire at your feet. Memory don't fail me now. I remember nothing else. Probably fire? Yep. Steely Dan is definitely dad rock. You'll hear no dissent from me. I, I think Steely Dan definitely fits into the dad rock uh, oeuvre, without a doubt. You gotta attack the feet. You gotta attack the feet. No! <laughs> I saw it coming. He, he like reared back the feet, the foot, I should say. There was nothing I could do. He was there for five seconds, and then he was like, "Gotcha." What's wrong with life gems? I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I just need to go buy 99 more of them. Dad hates most music from the past ten years, but loves Ed Sheeran for some reason. Man, that is like. <laughs> That's surprisingly... That's, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful sentence. And that echoes my exact sentiment uh, with my own father. But like... 10 or 15 years earlier. Like for me... I would play like, you know, Guided by Voices and Modest Mouse and, you know... Stuff like that in the car. And my dad would be like, I don't understand this shit at all. And then... One day... I was like, hey, mom, what does dad want for Christmas? And she was like, the new John Mayer CD. I was like, really?
John Mayer is good, bro. I think John Mayer is talented. In terms of, like, his songs being good, I would very much disagree with you. I know the man can play guitar like crazy. But in terms of, like, his actual songs on the radio, not really. Still got me, huh? Not this time. Not this time. My parents... It was like... I mean, it's the natural cycle of, like, generational life, right? Like, um... You know, in... Whenever I'd drive with my parents, I would play, like... You know, music that was... I'd be like, hey, mom, this is the new wolf parade. Huh? They're, they're Canadian. They're from Montreal. They're like, I don't like it. Turn on the radio, they hear like, My life is brilliant. My love is pure. I saw an angel. Of that I'm sure. And the crank that volume knob, baby. We're going to... We're going to 11. James Blunt's on. It's just, he's got the voice of an angel. My mom does not like Nora Jones. That is rare. My parents, my parents go hard on the Nora Jones for sure. My mom definitely did also love Hey, hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees. There's no doubt. You're you're also right. Every uh, every dad kind of has one song or one artist that is very atypical for them that you wouldn't expect, but they love them. Like I remember, maybe it was like my first or second year of university. I came back uh, home for Christmas, and my dad was bumping in his car. He was bumping the Christina Aguilera album back to basics. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, it's good. 